We just got back from the beach and as exciting as that sounds I heard some um, parrot sounds and when I went to investigate guys look what I found not fruit flies I found this do you know what that is that's like um, organic persimmons that are around eight dollars or ten dollars a kilo at the market that's what I found savaged by um, parrots yep ten minutes late ten minutes late guys as we pulled up look at all the munching see all the munching they did huh look at that they had a feast cute birds I don't think so not cute at all not, not in my eyes maybe cute for you if you buy your fruit from the market so that was 12 months work for this tree to uh, provide us persimmons this is the full you variety so what I'm gonna have to do now is take off all the fruit that are remaining I can't let them tree ripen or put a net on there. I'm not going to put a net up there. There's only a dozen fruit. Right? Hmm. So I go around now and pick whatever's left. It was uh, thankfully uh, a low season this year. Last year we got 200 persimmons on this tree. And this year it was an off year. I can still hear them in a the neighborhood terrorizing someone else's um, fruit tree. Not cute at all. The other one I picked this green persimmon, it's a big one, but I have to. They're vicious. They'll, they'll peck anything green, orange, they don't care. Absolute vicious. So, yeah, this is what happens when you grow, and there's bird poo everywhere. This is what happens when you um, grow organic fruit. This is part of the um, tribulation, part of the fun. And as you can see, it's also uh, autumn here in full mode, full flight. With a beautiful um, red leaves. Very pretty, uh, but not very happy to be picking these before they're fully ripe what can I do guys what can I do look at this it's like coming home to a house in um, chaos the kids are um, having a what do you call it a crazy house party so these are my kids out of control kids they're called parrots yeah I'm pissed daddy's pissed coming home from the beach to find uh, this it's like I've got to stay home 24 hours a day and guard these like a security guard yeah it's all right i'll get over it it's just the initial shock where's the other ones oh i forgot one up there that they chewed on i have to get that down i can't reach it though and this green one i can kind of leave this if i hide it with leaves but they're they're pretty smart ah what the heck take it off So, I picked them all. Goodbye to um, the 2021 season for the Fuyu. Abruptly. Uh, usually I have these hanging on a tree till June. So two more months. 
they could have stayed on the tree. That's when they turn a deep red like a tomato. So they're going to have to ripen now indoors. So <clears throat> we got 30 and the birds got eight. So as you can see, it's like uh, you lose one third to the birds when you don't net. And if we had gone away for Easter this weekend, right, like today, and come back whenever, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, all these would have been gone. All of these. They would have been like that. They would have been like this here. Just like that. All right, guys. So now I have to um, take some measures for the other persimmon tree. Otherwise, the same result will happen. Let's go and see the other tree. I had a quick look at it immediately when I jumped and uh, found that it was untouched. So thankfully, they didn't touch the gyro. We're going to the gyro persimmon, which is the giant version of the uh, fuyu. It's tucked away. Look how it's hidden. See that? It's tucked away. That requires a commando stealth parrot to look in there. It's right under the ice cream bean tree. And um, between the sugar cane and uh, pepino bushes here, which are flowering. So I'm gonna have to put a net on this, which I didn't want to do. But you gotta do what you gotta do, right? They gave me a job to do. Instead of relaxing, now I gotta get a net out and net this. All right, got the net on. So now I just gotta clip it, clip it, clip it in place with the uh, clips. Pegs. So that's it guys, done. Not exactly Stalag 13 because I, I needed a bigger net, right? So it's open underneath for them to fly under and get their goodies. But um, I'm not going to, you know, go all out. It's just a matter of them not seeing them. Once I see them, they'll get in. So this helps them hopefully not see any of them. Anywho, that's what we're dealing with here. So that's from behind, right under the ice cream bean. And now it's getting dark, it's around 7 p.m. on the 1st of April, which is um, a week away from the end of daylight savings here in Victoria. All right, guys. Whew. Now I'm gonna go and relax. One thing I still don't understand after all these years of netting trees, I've watched so many videos from America, different states, whether it's California or Ohio or Florida, you never see birds anywhere. You never see netting. It's like all the persimmons are blood red, fully ripe, like a thousand of them. And there's not a bird anywhere. Anywhere. Where the heck are the birds in the United States? Did you just eat them all? Were they um, exterminated? You never see any birds um, attacking the fruit there in the YouTube videos I've watched over the years. Persimmons, apples, pears, cherries, peaches. It's like, wow, I've got a double, triple, quadruple net. Otherwise, see you later. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. That's today's video. See you from the next one.